The Israelites were spread across the desert, setting up tents, preparing food, and beginning to grumble. Forward they marched. Ahead of them, they faced a long and difficult journey across a desert, through dangerous territory, but they were bound for the Promised Land. As the Israelites' food supplies started to run out, they began to fear where their provisions would come from. One of the miracles God did for the Israelites was to provide them with plenty of food. This food came from the sky, floating down every morning like heavenly snow. Manna was tasty, but the people really hungered for meat. So God sent them quail, which is kind of like a small chicken. A huge flock of these birds swooped into the Israelite camp and the people started grabbing them. There was so much food that everyone had buckets of quail to himself. Water was another problem. They needed water to survive. One time, God simply told Moses to touch a rock with his staff. Instead, Moses was so angry with the complaining Israelites that he not only hit the rock, but he did it twice. When he did so, water gushed out, providing a river of clean, pure, refreshing water for the whole nation to drink. God's guidance and protection resided with the Israelites, and he gave them victory. On one occasion, Moses saw that when he had his arm raised, the Israelites started winning. But when he lowered his arm, the enemy gained. So, with the help of two other men, Moses kept both his arms raised until Israel won the victory. Traveling this long through the wilderness brought a lot of problems. Often, the people grumbled against God and Moses. God punished the people by sending a swarm of poisonous snakes, which bit the people and made them sick. But even when he had to punish them, God was merciful. He told Moses to make a snake statue. Anyone who looked at the snake statue would be healed. There were a lot of lessons that God's people had to learn. Through all this, God still loved them. He always gave them enough food, enough water, and even kept their shoes and clothes from wearing out during the long and difficult journey. They would continue to wander through the wilderness for forty years.